guys, it's Lena! Hello! Um, so today I decided that I was going to tell a few stories about stupid things that I did when I was a little a baby. Uh, thing that's really stupid that I did is I was really really afraid of the toilet for like a really long time because I thought that I was going to fall in, which with the size that I was, I probably would have fallen in to be completely honest. So uh, I would just poop on the bathroom floor and run. Like, <laughs> just, they won't know it's me. Ah! Another really stupid thing I did that I will never forgive myself for is my mom and I were at a craft store when I was about, I think I was six years old, and my teacher that earlier that week had passed out these really crazy sunglasses to the entire class and it was amazing because they were like really huge and funny. And so we were at this craft store and there were um, some glasses like next to the, the cash register and we were in this like really long line and so I meant to say spectacles, like glasses, but I was like, oh mom, these are the same testicles that my teacher has. And you know, with a six year old saying that in a public place, it kind of sounds really and like the ladies around us were just like <laughs> by my beard. Did she just say testicles? Then my mom took me outside and she was like, honey, honey, do you know what you just said in there? And I was like, yeah, testicles. And and my mom was like, no, sweetie, testicles are um uh well boys have a, a, a wiener, you know? And I was just like, eww. And then she was like, yeah. And then there's these two little balls behind the wiener. And that's, that's what testicles are. And I was like, mortified because I had just said testicles in front of like seven old ladies and a cash register. When I was in sixth grade, I was going through a harsh, harsh phase. I was, uh, quite torn between wanting to be a chola and wanting to uh, be Sharpay from High School Musical. So I would wear these like tiny glittery top, crop top shirts that were far too small for me because I weighed probably twice as much as I do now and um, they had like glitter and stuff on them and said like baby, ba baby angel tits. But I really liked this guy named Tim, so I wrote this letter to Tim, and it was something like, Hi Tim, I just wanted to let you know that I've really liked you for like years, and you're really missing out on a sexy, sassy girl, and I could have given you the best love of your life. And it's like, girl, you're 12. Like, if I could go back in time, I would slap myself in the face. Whew, 12 year old me, whew, not something I want to return to. I had two stepsisters, one on my mom's side, one on my dad's side. I'm not going to say which stepsister it was, for reasons, but um, I was like super, super angry at her because she would like, she was like really skinny, or well, like skinnier than me. And so she would like put my pants on and be like, look how big your pants are on me. Ugh. And I was just like, hey, that's kind of mean. Like, ow, my heart, ah. And then they would also um, switch the CD from my alarm clock from Lord of the Rings soundtrack, which I love to wake up to. It was like the only thing I would wake up to. And she would always switch it to fucking Kelly Clarkson's Breakaway. I was so infuriated one morning that I took her toothbrush and I put it in my butt. <laughs> oh, you love this, don't you? Shouldn't be mean to me. And um, yeah, so I was evil. I was just a malevolent little kid. This is probably my most embarrassing moment in my entire life. When I was 12 um, in seventh grade, and if you've been to middle school, you know it's not like a nice place. So. I had like no boobs back then. So I had those little like jelly things. You put them in in your bra to push your boobs up. So I was in the lunch line and I was wearing two of those 
uh, little squishy things in my boobs. And I didn't realize, but as I was getting my tray, this like super popular dude behind me tapped me on the shoulder and he was like, did you drop this? And I looked down and I was like, <gasps> my boob! And except I like freaked out and so I was like, uh, no? And then I just like threw my tray and ran. I hope you guys like my stories, stupid stories of stupid things I've done in my lifetime. There are infinite more, but I can't think of any. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day and remember to smile. Bye.